Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be drawing ellipse using focal point method. Now the major axis of this ellipse is given as 150 while the minor axis is given as 100. Before you start drawing an ellipse you need these two axes, the major and the minor axis. The major axis is the one that is horizontal and the minor axis is the one that is vertical. So you just draw your horizontal and your vertical line meeting. Now, you will now take the half of 150, which is 75. You're going to measure 75 from your meter rule. Right? So, I place it here. I'm going to measure 75 on my meter rule, which is 75. And I'll place it at the center here. Right? So, I'll mark left here. And I'll also mark right here. Right? So I'm going to get this point to be my what? My point A and what? My point B. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to get the minor axis, which is always on the vertical line. So the minor axis is given as 100, so you take half of it, which is 50. So when you take your 50, you're going to measure from 0 to 50, right? So Put it at the center, you mark up and you mark down. So this point here is giving us my point C and my point D. Now the most important thing also in drawing on your focal point method is the focal point. Right? How can I get my focal point? So let's place at in this distance around this region and also the distance around this region. So what will I do? I'll use the radius of the center to point A how good and I'm going to place this razor at the center of point A right and I'm going to place it at point C so I'm going to strike an arc this way and strike another arc this way I'll take it to point D I'm going to strike another arc this way uh, so you can see so where are they meeting the where this problem intersect here or where they meet is called my f1 and where they intersect here where they meet is called what my f2 is that taken now the next thing we do is that we are going to divide in between f1 and f2 into 10 equal parts so I'll use my line division method this way using my compass my set square and I'll draw an horizontal line draw my horizontal line like this at any given radius right so in doing that I'm going to join I'm going to divide this line into ten with the help of my compass now this is my my compass I will take it to a reasonable radius right and i'll place it at the beginning of this point this will be uh from this point this will be one and this will be two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is it. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the ten point. So I'm going to join this last point here and this focal point two here because I'm dividing between F two and what F one. So take my C square, you see that this point, and I'm going to join. When I join the last point on F2, I don't have to shake it anymore, right? So what will I do? I'll take another C square, and I'll hold this one down, then I'll place this at the edge here. Mm -hmm. And you see at the edge here, then I'll start moving. 
So if I move forward, I'll be moving this guy by keeping this one constant. So I'll move up. Can you see that? So this will join this. I'll go to the next one. Join this. Go to the next one. And then this. Go to the next one. And then this. I go to the next one. So that's what I'll do for everything. Next one. So this is what I have successfully done. Right? So I can decide to still key the center point is my point E if I want to my point E or my point five. So if it's my point E or my point five, let me make it point five. Let me make it five. Right? So if this is five, let me enlarge it so you can see what I'm doing. So this is 5, this will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Here will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Are we good? So this is the next thing you do. Now, after cutting to this point, you take your compass, you take from A to 1. Right? And you place it on the F1 point. You are going to strike up this way, and you strike down this way. You come here with the same measurement. You place it here. You strike up this way, and you strike down this way because these two points are mirror image of each other. Whatever is here is here, right? Now the next you do is that you are going to take from one. From A, take from A, from one here to B. Right? Now initially you took, took from one to A, and you mark up and down on both sides. And you take from that same one to point B. You put it at F1. You strike this, and you strike this. So where they intersect here is my point. All good. And you turn it the other way around also. You place that F2, you cut on A1 also. And yes. So this is another point here. It's another point here, right? Now the next thing you do, you take from 2 to A, right? And you place that F1. Strike another arc up and now uh, come to the next point F2 also. You see measurement, you strike up and down, uh, right? Now you take from 2, take it to B, then you come to F1. You cut on the first line, you cut on the other line also, and that will be our new point. You switch it also, place that F2, you cut this, and you cut this. So that will be another point again. Right? Now you do for A also. And three. Mm -hmm. You come to F1, you strike your point up, strike your point down. You come to F2 with the same measurement, strike your point up, strike your point down. Now, from that three, you also go to 
F2 Play that F1 Cut Using from F3 Go to what B Sorry Go to B hmm? And push it at F1 You strike At this point too, you strike You switch it also Use that F2 You strike And this, you strike so this is our new point now <coughs> you come to 4 to A to 4 to A here you place it at F1 you strike and at F2 you strike So from that four also go to B. Put that F1, you cut on that B, you cut on this, take it to F2 also, you cut and you cut. So if you take it to E, back to A, at the center, you realize that you put that F1 to be cutting at C here. So these are our points. And what we have to do is to join all these points together. So let me adjust this guy. I'm going to join all these points together using our French curve. So, in the French curve, like I said earlier, your target is C and B. So we're going to be adjusting it until it pick three of them. Can you see that? We're going to be adjusting it until it picks three of them. So let's move. This one. And you turn it. The way it is this way, we're going to turn it. The direction. We're targeting A and C. You target A and C and you start adjusting it until you get the three of them and you do what? you get the three of them no the next one also you after that you turn it to this point in between a and D, we are adjusting it until you get what you actually want. So from here, and you do the same thing here also they are just between B and D so So this is our ellipse using focal point method. So thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> My name is Graphics once again.